Good evening, Facebook Live. Joe coming to you here late night. Got to be like 7.30 or something. I got a bunch of information to give you guys today. I was sitting here meditating about a half an hour ago. Just got back from Colonial Williamsburg, historic Williamsburg, downtown capital. Every year, July 4th, they get up there and read the Declaration of Independence. All the people are walking around with their tri hats on. A lot of horse and carriages and stuff going on there. Absolutely beautiful experience here. You guys never experienced Colonial Williamsburg and Bush Gardens. I would highly suggest coming to Virginia in your very near future once this pandemic stuff passes through here. Good to see you, Christina. We were over in your neck of the woods today. Old town country. Good to see you, Georgia. Happy Sunday. I know some people have been going through some stuff out there. I was feeling your energy this morning. I was sending you all kinds of blessings, peace, gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness. It was super peaceful here this morning. You guys may have saw some of that video this morning of the, the backyard over here and how peaceful it was when I came outside. The dogs were running around. They were getting all antsy. They said, come on, we're going to go for a hike. So whenever I see the dogs getting like that, that means, hey, Dad, you're not paying me enough attention. I want to go for a walk. Let's go out there and enjoy this beautiful morning. Good to see you, Tasha. Good to see you, Steve. What a beautiful, beautiful day it was today, Sheila. Good to see you guys logging in here Sunday evening. What a beautiful day. 70 degrees it was by the time we got down to Williamsburg, walking around the horse and carriages, pulling people around, all the townspeople are out there. A lot of shows going on. They had the streets lined up. It looked like... Down in New York City, I think they do a lot of this now. The outside dining tables were set up all over the place down there. Good to see you, Gene. And there was people everywhere. Shops. We the busiest store out of the whole place, the candy shop. We walked in there. They had the old style candies, marathon bars, Charleston chews, those little things that are made out of wax. You, you bite the top off and all that juice comes out. Those pixie sticks. Remember those, Sheila? All those things were inside that store down there. The busiest store out of all of them was the candy shop. I think I bought some dark chocolate with some nuts and stuff in them. But uh, we had a great day. And Chuck, Kathy, and I went down there. Had a beautiful lunch. Some funky place called like Mellow Mushroom or something down there. But uh, it was an absolutely gorgeous day. We wanted to go out there and feed ourselves today. But I, this morning when I got up, I was feeling the peace. I was feeling the love. I, I can feel people were going through some challenges in this life. So I sent you some positive energy this morning, some, some high vibration to receive that and just be peace. And that's what I was saying this morning. Just feel the peace because we have plenty of time to rest in peace. The challenge is to live in peace. Most people think you fear dying. I believe most people fear living. And if you look what's going on in this country right now, most people are in fear of living. So I hope you guys had an outstanding Sunday. Today's message is going to be about merchandise that's coming out. I've got a ton of stuff over here. Check this out. I'll show you this one here. For all you guys that like the blue and black, the Rise logo on there. That's to all the Mets fans that the Mets colors on. There's the only hat they had out there. Check this one out. For all you guys like me that love purple, got a nice purple hat right here. So we have some merchandise coming out very soon. And then obviously I like my black and red. So I got me some sweatpants right here. So I'll be wearing these bad boys really soon because you see the temperature is changing. And then obviously you guys saw this one the other day with the Rises One Foundation pillow. I had a couple people wanted the pillow. So none of this stuff is set up yet. I'm gonna be working with a good friend of mine getting a store set up online. People wanna get some of that merchandise, you can order that merchandise online. It's all gonna support our veterans. And I know this is, this is gonna take off. 2021 is gonna be a launch year. You thought they were launching SpaceX today? Wait until you see the Rises One movement get launched in 2021 as people start seeing what we're doing. We're going to be in so many states out there. Good to see you, James Clapp. Happy Sunday, brother. I want to give you guys a health tip of the day right here. Ready? So in here, I have my lemon water. Just because you haven't been hearing, hearing a lot about what's going on out there with COVID and these other stuff, any kind of viruses, lemon water. Awesome for the body. Echinacea. Awesome for the body. Cod liver oil, standard process. Now my good friend Eric lives out there in Wisconsin. That, that company is right out there. And here we got some zinc. So these are a couple of things that I take every single day. I don't miss a day. Every day I get up in the morning, I have my OPC3, got my vitamins, I do my green smoothie, get my breakfast, and boom, I'm out the door. So as a reminder, make sure you're taking care of your bodies. Whether you're healthy or you're not healthy, we always should be taking care of our bodies. And I also want to give a big shout out 
We did not forget about you guys, The Rise as One Book Two. These are all the awesome authors that were in that book. I will be doing interviews with each and every one of those authors here going forward to share their stories. We've been going 100 miles an hour, so that took a little bit of a back seat right here, but I'm definitely going to be having an interview with some amazing people. Wait until you meet the people and hear some of their stories. Super powerful. But today when I woke up this morning, peace. I was sending all of you peace. I want you guys to live in peace. That's why I come on here every single day. Thank you for the private messages. I've been getting a ton of people reaching out to me privately. Say, Joe says, you have no idea the impact you're making on my life. I says, you know what? You're impacting my life, so thank you. Thank each and every one of you that get on here every single day. I, I absorb your energy. And I send it right back to you with positive vibrations, with good intentions, love and peace, thankfulness, appreciation, gratitude, sending all that energy to you. Because we can focus on one of two things, faith or fear. I refuse to live in fear. And if I was to get struck by something tomorrow and die the next day, guess what? I was living in faith when I passed away. I'm not worried about dying. I should have been dead, be honest with you, at least 10 times. Chuck and I and Kathy were having this conversation over lunch. I, there's no way I should still be here. Some of the stuff that I put my body through, my mind through, and my spirit through growing up. And like many of you, same exact thing. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about here. For you to still be here is the blessing. Now is the time to take control of our lives like we talked about on Saturday. Now I will take control of my life. So say that to yourself. Every time you get up in the morning, say, now I'm going to take control of my life today. And watch how you can shift your mindset by saying those things to you over to yourself over and over again. That's what it takes. And what I'm realizing is it's about a three to five year process and a journey to reprogramming some of that stuff from our past so we can live here in the present moment in the future at peace with gratitude, with thankfulness, and with appreciation. Super appreciative for this morning. I woke up and the dogs were hopping around all happy. You know how they, they smile and their tails are wagging. They got the little wiggle to them. I said, all right, I know what that means. Take me for a walk. So boom, we grabbed the leashes out the back door. We went, hiked it out to the water in the back. I shared that beautiful video with my Facebook followers here today. Hope you got some peace out of that video. And then we took those guys on a nice long hike. Then I went down to the job site, got a couple more coats of compound on that ceiling. Then you see the house is coming out absolutely amazing. Wait until you see the finished product. This is what I'm going to be teaching my students. The whole intention of me doing these videos, of these rehabs, is that I'm going to utilize this. And here we are in 2021 launching our real estate coaching program so you can learn about how we do what we do. More importantly, I'm looking for those veterans that want to help us build veteran homes for our veterans who are, to me, the world's greatest givers. And that's gonna be the message going forward. We're gonna be on multiple TV stations across this great country, radio stations down in Houston, radio stations down in Atlanta, and I know a host of other radio stations. When they start hearing about what we're doing, because it's not about me, it's about what we're doing, I guarantee you the word will spread like wildfire. Absolutely, Cheryl. Good to see you, good to see you. Happy Sunday, everybody. 293 days of 366, as you can see, the end of the year is winding down. What are we doing here in the fourth quarter to prepare ourselves for 2021? What are we doing shifting in our family? What are we doing shifting in our business? What are we doing shifting in our mindset so we can tap into the abundance field? We can tap into peace. We can tap into appreciation for what we have right here, right now, today. That is the gift. Every day that we wake up is the gift there's many people that did not wake up today. And that is the reality. 7,500 people a year dying. So it's our turn to live in peace right here, right now. So I hope you guys are hearing something from these messages. Don't forget about your taking your standard process, your echinacea, your lemon water. That's one of the things I've been super consistent with drinking lots of lemon water. I probably drink anywhere from seven to 10 bottles of water a day, put my water drops in there, I squeeze a fresh lemon in there, constantly feeding the body because we don't wanna feed the body when we're sick. We take the maintenance courses like putting air in your tires, oil in your engine, keeping that thing running at peak performance and that thing will keep going and going. I remember a guy used to work with Joel, he had oil in his truck. He only changed the filter for 100,000 miles but he gave that thing proper driving technique. 
Good to see you, Gloria. How you doing this evening? Good to see you, Mom Gator, Linda Gator. Send you peace this morning. I hope you guys received it. It was an absolutely beautiful morning here in Virginia. I'm going to go over here and relax and watch a little bit of this baseball game. For all you baseball fans out there, congratulations to the Tampa Bay Rays. They're just like the David versus Goliath. This is like the lowest budget team. The Tampa Bay Lightning already won the Stanley Cup, and now the Rays are going for a World Series. Tampa Bay is going to be absolutely on fire this week coming fall with all the sports teams that are winning out there in the Tampa Bay area. So you guys that live in Tampa Bay, you guys must be super excited. Good to see you, Sandy, and your purple light always shining out. I know I was definitely wearing purple today because purple, Sandy, check this out. This is going to look for good for purple. You're going to have to get yourself one of these, Sandy. The purple rise hat. So all this merchandise will be coming out here in the very near future. We're setting up the store to support our veterans. So a ton of stuff, a lot of stuff going. You see that there's so many things going on right now with the veteran homes, the flip homes, the book deals, the TV show, and all this crazy stuff. And guys are like, Joe, how do you do that? It's not me. It's what God and the universe can do through me. That's the secret when we finally surrender to the mind and release the egoic mind. The one's always telling us what we can and cannot do. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us rising as one to make a difference and ending the suffering for all of God's children. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. We are just getting started. I love you guys. Have a blessed and fantastic rest of your Sunday.